Hello, you guys. Everybody has been talking about their Hermes journey and how much they spent in order to get a Birkin or a Kelly. I haven't gotten a Birkin or a Kelly just yet. Um, and what I want to do is I want to share with you how much I spent so far. And do you, th do you think that we need to spend one to one ratio in Hermes to get a Birkin? I'm going to test this theory out because I want to see how much I spent so far in Hermes and then maybe see if I'm ever going to get a Birkin this year because I think I'm very close to that one to one ratio and I think it would be a fun one just to chit chat with you and talk about it. This is not everything I purchased. I have some shoes and, and sandals right on the floor. I'm not going to put them on the couch um, and I have all my receipts right in here so we can talk about how much I spent so far. So let's start with the first item that I have ever spent or bought in Hermes, which is this right here. This is the day sneakers. And this was my first ever purchase. What they did is they didn't have my size in store. So they ended up shipping it to my house. Um, and I hoping that this credits for me I, on my account. I have no idea how their system goes because if it doesn't, that's BS because this was a pretty expensive sneaker. This it was around 1250. So yeah, let me double check that. This was right here, 1292. So not 1250. This was 1292. Oh, that's with tax. So it was 1250. So this was right here, 1250. Um, the day sneakers and then I spent at the same time my, under my account this slides right here the Oran sandals in this beautiful cactusy color and these were 700 US dollars and then the next purchase I went in there I purchased this right here the the ring I don't know what they're called the chain ring that they have and let me see how much I spent on this chain ring so, so this one was this one was let me see Five hundred five hundred and sixty dollars. So this is five hundred and sixty, and then I spent, and then I purchased the Picatin, and this was um, three thousand and three hundred dollars, and at the same time I bought also these Oran sandals in the gold color because this was. I love these Oran sandals. They're so beautiful, and that was seven hundred and sixty. Those were expensive than the cactus ones. Um, so that's my second time going to the Hermes store. The third time I went, which is the latest unboxings that I have done on this channel, I purchased these Kelly, this Kelly belt. And let me see how much that was. The Kelly belt was $1,125. So $1,125. And then I also bought this right here, the, ro the rodeo, um, the rodeo charm, which was $700. So that's how much I spent. Let me calculate that and get back to you and see if it actually works like this one to one ratio theory that everybody's talking about. And we'll go from there. Okay, so so far I have spent 8395, which is closer to what a Birkin cost. I think a Birkin is a little over 10,000. Um, but I don't know if this actually works. So let's see if they're going to make me spend more to give me a Birkin. But honestly, a disclaimer, I literally love every single piece that I got. This Picatin bag for me, I don't know if it's better than a Birkin because I've never had a Birkin, but I'm obsessed with this bag. I wear it all the time like this and I love it. It's just a beautiful bag and smells like leather. And I love the, the, like the chain that it has on here. I, I, I adore this bag. So honestly, I don't even care because this bag right here is so gorgeous and I'm obsessed with it. So I, that's what I think. Like every single piece that I literally bought from Hermes, I've been wearing constantly, nonstop. The jewelry, even the jewelry, the belt, I've, I know I bought it recently, but I've been wearing it all the time. Almost 10 out of, I don't know, like out of the 20 outings, I'm wearing it. So I've been really getting my money's worth from all these pieces. Um, the least item that I've been wearing is just the sneakers because they gave me blisters one time and I'm not sure, like I haven't had a chance to wear them again, but I will be because I want to break them in and because those are leather. So I think you need to break them in over time, but everything else I've been wearing constantly. The sandals or on sandals wore them a million times during the summer. Um, so this is why I'm like, I already purchased stuff that I would purchase even if I'm not 
aiming for a Birkin. You know what I mean? Because I really do love all these pieces. Um, and this specifically, like this one, oh, I love this bag. I love this bag so much. The Picton, I highly recommend. I think it's very underrated where it's just a really great bag. It fits so much. I have a whole video on it and it looks so chic and elegant. So I really love that one. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned if I ever get a Birkin and we can compare. Is it the one-to-one -one ratio theory that everybody's talking about or it's random? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye guys.